there's a, um, a quote that I love by, uh, have you ever heard of Stafford Beer? So Stafford Beer is considered the, the father of modern systems thinking. Mm-hmm. So thinking in terms of how systems operate as opposed to isolated individuals on their own. And, and one of the things he said is that if you take a basically lousy system and make it more efficient, you wind up with a more efficiently lousy system. Mm. And, and that's the problem with mm. 99% of productivity tools and management techniques, mm. is you're starting with cherry floors, and so no matter how good you get at it, you're kind of stuck with what looks good with cherry floors. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of the things that we want to do in sort of offering a different way of thinking about productivity is, is to open up what we consider to be the, where the leverage is, you know, where your bread is buttered, where you're going to get the most out of exploring it. And, and, and it's, we, we, we made up a bunch of names for it. So we called it quantum productivity or exponential productivity. A geometric productivity. Or nonlinear productivity. Yeah. yeah. But in each case, what we're looking at is not the volume of what's produced, but a very particular ratio, which is the ratio of effort to result. So the, the, the common notion around which almost every system I have ever studied is built is that there is a one-to-one ratio between work and result. The harder I work, the more I produce. So the conversation is always built around how do I make more time to make this number bigger, right? How do I get three? Because if I get three, then I get three result. If I, if I can find a way to do three effort, and if I'm really cowboy up, and get really tough, maybe I can get five res- you know, effort and five result. Well, when we think about nonlinear productivity, what we're interested in is how is it that sometimes you put out three effort for one result, right? The diminishing returns, where like the harder you work, the less output you have. And how is it that sometimes you do a very small amount, but you get a big result. You make a lot of progress towards whatever the, the direction that you're headed. So we're looking at productivity over the next couple of days. What we want to do with you is look at how, what are the factors that change this ratio and that tilt it more and more in our favor so that same bit of effort produces more and more result, more and more progress in the direction that we're aiming. Now, now let me suggest that if you have someone that everybody sees pr- producing an exponential result, a surprisingly little bit goes a long way, what word would the wor- world use to explain that? I don't think so. I think they'd say luck, by and large. Well, how do you end up with, I think he's lucky. Or they might say, as Gary suggests, well, he's been doing it a long time. He's, he's got a lot of exponential in there. He's become a master. You see, they might say genius, but more often than not, they'll say, oh, he just stumbled onto that. That's Well, we're going to suggest to you that the world in which exponential exists can easily look like luck, and it's up to you to look beyond that and see that there's a logic behind it.